The White Russian is one of the most classic and delicious vodka cocktails out there. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a perfect White Russian. I hate vodka, and I've gone on record as saying it is the worst and most inferior spirit out there. I think that there are so many better spirits to use in your day to day, but that being said, the White Russian is one of the very few cocktails I actually do enjoy that use vodka as a base spirit. So, all right, let's jump right into it. We are gonna grab our little shaker here. It is a shaking cocktail. And what makes this the perfect White Russian recipe is the ingredients that we're going to be using. So the first big change is the type of vodka that we're using. In my personal humble opinion, St. George's all-purpose vodka is the best vodka out there. Isn't very expensive. It actually starts off as a pear brandy and then gets turned into a vodka. So you have some of that flavor still left in here, which is which you can't say for any other vodka out there. The definition of vodka is a flavorless, colorless, tasteless spirit, and it's usually distilled a bunch of times and then filtered a bunch of times. So if you buy expensive vodka, you're a dummy. All right, so, but I digress. So we're gonna do an ounce of St. George's all-purpose vodka. We are also going to do an ounce of St. George's NOLA coffee liqueur. No, this isn't sponsored by St. George, but if they asked me, I absolutely would do it. I love their stuff. St. George's NOLA coffee liqueur is one of two coffee liqueurs that I know of that actually use real coffee. Uh, the other being Mr. Black's, which I believe uses real coffee in the liqueur. Um, but St. George's NOLA coffee liqueur is absolutely incredible. It tastes just like coffee, which can't be said for Kahlua, which is usually the uh, coffee liqueur that goes into a white Russian. And so we're upgrading it to St. George's NOLA coffee liqueur. So let's do an ounce of this. And for the most important ingredient, we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of heavy cream. Put that right in there. And then we're gonna add ice to our shaker and give it a nice good shake. All right, make a glass appear out of thin air. Grab a big cube, put that right in there. We're gonna pop this open and double strain. And you might be asking, why are you double straining this cocktail? Well, you should probably double strain every cocktail. Uh, when you shake up a cocktail in a shaking tin, the ice breaks up and you're left with a lot of these little ice shards in there that end up over diluting a cocktail. The reason we use a large cube for this is because it's one large cube. It has less surface area, so it melts slower. And so you end up with a consistent cocktail that isn't watered down. If you had left those little ice shards in there, they would slowly melt and water down your cocktail past what would be enjoyable. All right, let's give this a taste. Mm, absolutely delicious, very creamy. The coffee liqueur comes right through. You taste that actual coffee flavor and that vodka does provide the alcohol and the body for the cocktail. Overall, excellent cocktail, perfect for a boozy brunch or you know a morning pick-me-up, I don't judge. The biggest takeaway I have from this video for you is that the quality of spirits that you put into your cocktails makes the biggest difference. Recipes are just recipes, they're just templates, but it's the same thing if you were to cook and you used inferior product, you're gonna get an inferior final dish. So use good products in your cocktails and you can have an incredible cocktail regardless of what recipe you use. But hey, if you can't get enough of vodka or coffee cocktails, I have a video right over here showing you how to make an espresso martini two different ways without espresso. 